All right, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak. I have the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory, if in the praises unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rachakadash, the bond of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in the overseas tabernacle of David. Shalom to our sincere brothers, pushing teaching the truth across the four corners of the earth. And Shalom to our sincere believers out there. Here with a lesson concerning uh, Dark Winter. Okay, Dark Winter. That was mentioned by, uh, by, by Biden, okay, in the Trump versus Biden debate. Okay, you see here is from an article from CBSNews.com, which is a credible source. All right, and it's titled "We're About to Go into a Dark Winter." Biden says Trump has no plan for coronavirus, and this is an article from you know October twenty third, the year twenty twenty. Okay, this year has been escalating with prophecies, man. All right, escalating and continue, it will continue. Okay, according to the Bible, this is all biblical prophecy that is playing out before our eyes. All right. And you people out there must wake up to, okay, this is reality, this is the truth, according to the Bible, all right, relating it to this article, all right, of the, t of the times we're in, and they're evil times, meaning bad times, all right, but it, as it reads, it says that the final presidential debate, Democratic nominee Joe Biden warned Americans that it is going to be a dark winter, and said President Trump has no clear plan to deal with the continuing coronavirus pandemic. COVID-19 has killed more than 220,000 Americans and sickened more than 7 million, as some scientists have warned the current wave could be the biggest wave of infections. All right. And, this, and then Biden and Trump are really on the same team, man. They're both the devil, man. They're deceiving and slandering people. OK. Esau Edom, that is specifically. All right. The so-called white man is Esau Edom, according to the Bible. You know, they're lying tongue. They, they, it comes off smooth words. It seems like they're going against each other. They're really on the same team, man. All right. And they do have a, a plan. OK, and it's going to be that it's going to come through that vaccine. OK, it says, um, let's see. It says debate moderator Christine Welker of NBC asked Biden about the COVID-19 vaccine, saying, quotations, just 40 percent of Americans say they would definitely agree to take a vaccine if it if it was approved by the government. <laughs> What steps will you take to give Americans confidence in a vaccine if it were approved? And that's a, you know that's a great question by the moderator, man. All right, that's a great question. That in this in this uh this in fact this statement was was truly shown you know in the in the show Utopia that is on Amazon Prime. You know it had to be that it was a vaccine approved by the government. Okay, and Esau Edom puts their agenda in these shows, man, because they they put it off as mockery. They they are proud people. Okay. They think no one's going to be able to stop them, but they're they're not they're not aware that that Yahweh Shah is on the way back, man. Okay, the elect men are pulling down these strongholds. They're pulling down these lies. Okay, they're pulling the uh the curtain, the blind curtain off our people's eyes, man. The black, expansive Native Americans who are Israelites, according to the Bible. Okay, this vaccine is going to be approved, and already forty percent of Americans say they would definitely take the vaccine. Okay, and that number is going to increase because the the level of uh comfortability is going to be at a risk, man. OK, they're going to put these people at a risk. They're going to isolate you people that are that, that are going to resist the vaccine, they're going to resist the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. OK, it says Biden answer. Make sure it's totally transparent. Have the science and we will see it, know it, look at it and go through the processes. Man, this man, Biden is a damn devil, man. All right. He's a devil. They have this. They, this, this is their plan. This is their 2021 plan. OK, instilled and documented. OK, ordered. All right. It says, let me, let me skip that part. It says, this, this is the point too. It says a dark winter, it has no clear plan, and there is no prospect that there's going to be a vaccine available for the majority of the American people before the middle of next year. Biden continued. Okay, so, you know, it says no, no clear plan, but they're going to see, they're going to gradually, you know, they're going to gradually introduce this new plan of the vaccine. Okay, they're going to see who's going to, who's going to willingly take it Without you know, just so just just one on just on their own will, you know. Then they're going to make those uncomfortable for you know. They're going to put their people uh, jobs at risk. They're going to put their people houses at risk. Their assets, the cars, you know, they 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 where they function in society at risk. They're going to cause social to uh social disruption. Okay, they're going to put they're going to instill fear. These people are are having this mass man. You see the ideology behind this mass. This is all our people having fear. Okay. That's how the government is gonna is gonna uh fulfill this agenda. All people's uh disruption, social social disruption, fear. Okay, that's how they're gonna implement this agenda. All right. 
let's see what else the uh, article goes into. And I'm, of course, related to the Bible, related to the scriptures that we're, uh, that we're coming from. All right, it says... Mm, Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see if there's some more. It says. I'm trying to see if there's more in the article, because I'm sure it is. Hmm, let's see, it says. Worker then asked about each candidate's strategies in handling the virus. Mr. Vice President, you suggested you would support new shutdowns if scientists recommended it. See? That's another, that's, that's, they're going to implement these shutdowns, man. Trump already mentioned that he's going to have the military dis distribute the vaccine. This is this is truly going to happen. This is the plan. This is the agenda. All right. What do you say to Americans who are fearful about the cost of shutdowns, the impact on the economy, the higher rates of hunger, depression, domestic and sex abuse outweighs the risk of exposure to the virus? All right. You know, the virus, you know, the, 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 the moderator or the or Welker here, you know, the name Welker here. You know, she's probably just asking out. You know, she's asking, you know, typical, really good questions. All right, because the, the the economy, you know, the society, well, the elites are going to take advantage of that. Those this fearful, uh, these these shutdowns. Okay, they're going to take it. The impact is the economic uh, collapse is 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 because of this pandemic, man. All right, their hunger is going to this famine is, is spoken about in the Bible. Depression is going to come. It's going to it's going to cause an uprising of the people. Domestic and sex abuse. All right. One people shall stand and fight against another. It's, these people, these these, these are weird in them times, man. A biblical biblical proportions. <laughs> all right, all right. So yeah, that was the um, that was that was mainly the point concerning the article with the uh, dark winter. All right, and now we're gonna grab some scriptures concerning you know the times that we're in. Let me get uh, Ecclesiastes. I want to get Ecclesiastes chapter twelve, you know, verse one because this is a warning of prophecy. This is a warning, all right, to repent while you still can because the evil times are near. You know, and, and these evil times are going to come through the vaccine, you know, whether that's late this year or 2021. They have, they have this thing in their agenda. They're going, to, they're going to attempt to fulfill their agenda. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. And who is the creator, man? Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh been the heavenly father's true name. And Yahweh Shai been his only begotten son's true name. Who the world ignorantly calls as God and Jesus Christ. Continuing on, it says, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. So, yeah, before the, you know, before those evil times come, before the famine comes, before the, the, the great, uh, the, the mark of the beast, the RFID chip comes, okay, before the uh, pestilence, deadly diseases, famine, you know, uh, martial law, warlike order, okay, comes hit the streets. You know, you want, you want to remember now your creator, man. You want to remember and take heed to Yahweh Bashim Shai and have faith. You know, this is the time, you know, this is the time to repent. All right. More so now than ever. OK, because we're in the last days. We're in the last times, man. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 19. The dark winter, man. <laughs> concerning, you know, concerning dark winter, man. All right. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 19. It reads, and woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. Yeah, because the days are evil. You know, we're you know, we're not we're not truly in the times of. Oh, yeah, man, we're going to live our best life. We're going to raise our children on a white picket fence. You know, we're going to do this and that. We're going to, you know, go into college. You know, we're not, we're not in them times, man. You know, we are not. And these are the words from Yahweh Shah. You know, but continuing on, it says, But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. So the times we're about to see and witness, where this these are going to be the worst times in history. Okay, these are going to be the worst times that people ever seen. Okay, people never seen uh, the sports get shut down like like it is now. This standing six feet apart, the economy is about to truly crash. The dollar is about to fall entirely. Okay, but these people have never seen these days as such, man. They never seen the rights uh, back. The all these cities rioting as such. For these for these longevity of periods, not just cause, not just a couple days as it was in times past. All right. Verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. See, because it hey, these times we're in, man, it's, it's truly it's all about the sincere believers in Yahweh by Shemal Shai. And, and truly, those sincere believers are going to mainly come through the remnant. And that remnant is the elect. 
but the elect are the 144,000, 144,000 of sincere believers that are men, predestined to be delivered, guaranteed to be delivered, man, in the times that we in right now, okay? 12,000 from each of the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? Along with their, you know, with their families and a great multitude of believers that are going to be following the elect, man, all right? That's why, that's why the, these days are going to be shortened. All right, these times are going to be so evil, man. We're going to need, we're going to need to be delivered. We're going to need to, and who's going to deliver us? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is coming back to deliver his sheep. I think he's going to say that in, um, oh, it's Matthew 15 and 24. I get that real quick, just to back up my point, for edification's sakes. This is Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. See, Yahweh Shai is only coming back for the, for the Israelites, man. Okay, he's not coming back for the entire world. He's coming back to judge the entire world. He's going to touch the earth along with his angels, okay, and along with these prophecies. That's what that's what's going to come into play, all right. But we're waiting, we're waiting on our Lord, man, because we're going to need to be delivered. That's how that's how evil you. you're not going to be able to deliver yourself. Get 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 over yourself, man. You're not going to be able to deliver yourself, man. It's not the case. We're going to we need we need Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah means he delivers, he saves. He's going to save his elect. He's going to save his men that are pre that has been doing his will, that has had that have been praying to the true name, following following in order, you know, following the law, of his commandments. All right, doing doing necessary acts, labors as such to to receive salvation. Highways and byways, doing videos, showing diligence, doing what's necessary, man. This is Lamentations chapter three verse twenty five. The Lord is good to them that wait for him. To the soul that seeketh him. See, and that's, that's what and that's what I mentioned. That's why I started out with Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. And this in the sign of this dark winter is going to show that we need we need our Lord and Savior even more, man. We're waiting upon Yahweh Shai. All right. We're seeking Yahweh Shai. We're seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Verse 26. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. See? We're that we are we're hoping of the unseen things, man. We're hoping to see those chariots, man. Even though brothers have been brothers ain't seeing chariots on the on the high on the higher levels these days, man. Okay? And we're waiting upon deliverance. Salvation is deliverance. All right, verse 27. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. So yeah, you you, you hear when you hear this truth, whatever age you hear this truth, man, you you take heed. Truly the Lord gives it, he reveals his truth unto babes. He gives it to those that are that are young, man. Late, late teens. You know, there's really no excuse at this point, no matter the age, okay? And it's you, bear the, bear the yoke, man, you know? Whatever you got to deal with, deal with it, and endure in faith until the end. That's because we're going to, we're, come, we're about to come into some gruesome times, man. Very heavy times. That dark winter could be these very times that we that are spoken about in the scriptures, all right? So I just want to put out that warning, you know, and relate it to the article and, and really just give an update of the times that we're in and that we are in bad times. We are in evil times and, and just give that alert, you know, to alert our people, to alert the Israelites, to alert the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans and, for, and yeah, to wake up. All right, it's time to wake up and repent to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So Lord willing, know this lesson was edifying concerning dark winter, concerning the times that we're in. I want to end up by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders of the great millstone, who teach and rule well in all the cities, tabernacle David. All right, Shalom, Abba, Abba, keep the faith.